I was willing to put in the extra work. Sure enough, it hits my back. Of course, they do it the right way. They don't take shortcuts, they don't make excuses. The glamorous part of the game, uh, Sandy, as you know, is winning championships. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hey Bucket Live. I'm your host, Amy Glantz, and this week we have on a very special guest, UCLA head coach, Coach I. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So you are going in, you've been the head coach of the Bruins since 2007. You're heading into your 16th season with them. Um, You guys just wrapped up another incredible recruiting class. You just said, wow, thinking about six years as the head coach of the Bruins, but just what are you feeling right now? How blessed are you to just, you know, have had so many incredible years with this program? I mean, first of all, thank you. Um, And the way you just asked that, like, how am I feeling as you were saying all those things? um, Just real fortunate, a lot of gratitude. I think, you know, Lisa Fernandez and I um, have been playing softball together since we were 10 and 11 years old and got a chance to play and, and win and then come here and play together. And we kind of used to joke around about Sharon and Sue, the coaches at the time, about what a cool job they had. And God, that was a long time ago. And never did we really think that this would be our path to to be able to be in the position that we are, um, especially for me being the head coach. But I think the biggest reason that we are here is to be able to create the same experience that we had as student athletes. And so I can say today, um, however many years I've been here, the culture is strong. There is, a, and I say that because of the people that we recruit, you know, one of my mantras in life is the key to success is to surround yourself with people that are just as committed and passionate as you are. And I feel, I, I, that's why I say I, I, I love my job because I get to recruit some really special student athletes. They're, they're not just about softball, they're very talented, but they also take school very seriously. They like to be engaged in the community. They like to be successful after, and then they come back and support. So the Bruin family, the Bruin bubble, our culture is strong, which makes coming to work just a blessing. I have no idea what year it is since I've, you know, I've never left campus. I graduated, I graduated my senior year and started coaching a month afterwards. So I've never left and, you know, call me crazy, but it's, I don't feel like I have a job. I get to, I just get to continue to be here, which is, like I said, a lot of gratitude. It is absolutely so incredible, and you just touched on it, but the fact that you have spent your entire collegiate career, you were you, you were a catcher at UCLA, and then you just go right into coaching, and then you were the, named the head coach in 2007. Um, you had the incredible opportunity to not only play with, but catch Lisa Fernandez, and now fast forward to 2000, or 2021, and now she's coaching by your side. Describe your relationship with Lisa and and what she's meant to you over the years. Yeah, well, I, you know it's unique. I think um, that the ability to play on the same team and be teammates and not 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 just teammates but battery mates has created a, a special bond beyond you know friendship. We are we have been in battles of uh, really powerful, great memories and some really hard you know devastating memories. But that kind of pulls you together even more to be able to. Um, just kind of look back and appreciate just some of those things. I think I think for me as a catcher, being able to catch literally the go the greatest of all time, um, I have so much respect for the process. You know, she wasn't the goat her whole career, but watching how people put the work in and are really committed to their craft and and have put themselves in a position to um, you know to to shine. I mean, she has she has received every accolade, has made me proud. You know, I I could say that I'm a part of the process to be able to help. And I think that's what I love as a catcher. It's so giving. I've, I've had, I've caught some of the greatest that have ever played the game and, and can have been fortunate to coach them. And Lisa and I get great joy out of the littlest thing. I mean, we can still remember moments in the game, kind of crazy, a little too, a little too freaky. Like we can remember at bats and hitters and, but we have the same IQ of the game and because we were coached very well from, from a hall of fame coach, Larry Mays. So we have a passion for the game, but we've learned as coaches, it's not, what we know it's it's how we can get our student athletes to be able to play together and that has been a a fun challenge you know it's it's getting different players at different times in their career really really uh, pushing them to just continue to learn and grow and that's rewarding for us so for lisa and i you know we took the game very seriously and we, we experienced great success and now we're in a position of really growing people it's not just about softball it's growing the individual and 
really the softball IQ will come when they feel more confident about themselves as young women. And we have both really learned to appreciate just how the two, how the two connect, you know, and, and I think so for us, there's a lot of growth ourselves. You know, we get to learn and get challenged every day because we're dealing with people and we're dealing with young individuals that have a lot going on. So, um, and I think probably the thing that I'm most proud of when I talk about Lisa Fernandez is she put, um, well, both of us have put our heart and soul into softball from such a very young age, but yet we also are mothers and wives and we, we have children that we're, we're able to raise. So we have that in common too. We're juggling doing it all, but we also want to be role models that you can do it all. Um, so there's a great deal of care for the student athletes. We have responsibilities as moms and wives, but then we as friends, um, you know, when I took over as the head coach, the first thing that I said is I wanted Lisa by my side and we have spent endless, um, you know, we have endless memories of just of, of what we dream UCLA softball to be. So I, I'm really proud. You know, we're, we're in a great place. Recruiting is going well. The, the program's going well. The girls are thriving academically, athletically. And for both of us, we get to come to work every day and, and in our sporting PJs, you know, and, and life is good. <laughs> life is definitely good. It is, it is such a blessing and, and just to see you two thrive together after yeah. all these years, it's just been so fantastic for, Thank I'm you. sure you too, but just for the sport in general. Um, so Lisa accomplished something absolutely amazing. She won the first ever Honda Cup for uh, the Bruins, I believe. And uh, that's, that's given to the most outstanding female athlete of the, of the year. And Rachel Garcia was the first ever to do it twice. I mean, right. there's just so many similarities between the two, and you've obviously had the opportunity to work with both. But do you do you see any similarities be, be, between the two players, between Lisa and Rachel Garcia? Well, I mean, uh, there's a ton of similarities, and yet they're two totally different people. So obviously, to be able to be a two-way player and affect the game both offensively and obviously in the circle is unique. Um, and it's there's but there's a lot of two-way players, but the impact that both of them had was so tremendous that helped teams win championships that, you know, they go down and obviously in history as, as and, and have been awarded, you know, as a result of that. Um, but it was funny, even Lisa said, you know, Lisa had dominant pitching stats and Rachel had dominant pitching stats. And then they both were these two-way players. Rachel, uh, Lisa said this, she was like, you know, I feel like I, I, I hit for average and I came up with some clutch hits, but I even, I can say, honestly, I have not come through with the amount of clutch hits that Rachel has. I mean, Rachel was a true, I mean, impact player where she would shut someone down and hit the game winner several games for us. Um, you know, so that yes, two-way players, I mean, Rachel, and a big part of in this generation when we played, we were very dominant on the West Coast and UCLA was very dominant. The, the sport has changed and there is equity in the sport from coast to coast. So to do what Rachel did during this time, um, yeah, there's a lot of respect for how she impacted the game, both offensively and defensively, and was so consistent at being able to do that. Um, so yes, similarities, but also also very different. And it was fun. I think, I think I believe uh, strongly that Lisa was able to bring out a mental edge for Rachel, just training her and challenging her and working with her and studying with her. Um, that they built a camaraderie that really helped Rachel because she was physically talented, but being able to to win a championship and face an opponent more than once, there's a strategy and there's a mental toughness. You know, there were some great moments in Rachel's career where, you know, I could see Lisa just, you know, really almost in her face, like you have trained, you're prepared, you can do this. To have someone like Lisa Fernandez pumping you with confidence, you know, can help, but it, and it created that edge. And she did a lot of that with Rachel on the, on the World Series stage. So um, two different people, very similar in their impact to the game. Um, but the fact that they were able to come together and have that coach player relationship and also go down in history is something that I'm really proud about what UCLA softball is all about. Definitely. Absolutely in, in incredible that, you know, Lisa yeah. was able to be by Rachel's side and like be a mentor to her. Um, that's, that, that's so incredible. Um, speaking of, of your incredible alumni, um, you had four Bruins compete for Team USA over the summer. Um, yeah. what, what was that like for you to be able to watch Delaney Spaulding, Bubba Nichols, Ali Carta, Rachel Garcia shine on that mm -hmm. stage? I mean, it's the, it's, it makes us so proud. It is the, you know, the biggest accomplishment is to be able to play and represent your country. Um, to be able to have the four of them make the Olympic team was, I mean, we could still remember when, you know, 
Bubba was the one that was the most exciting because, you know, Allie had worked so hard and she had been part of the national team and helped with their success. So we were hopeful that she could continue. So when Allie and Delaney both, you know, they had that, the, those opportunities with the national team and Rachel had some, some, some opportunities as well. But with Bubba, I mean, we were just, <laughs> I'll never forget the call. And she called like, oh my God, I made it. And we all celebrated. And then I also went, oh no, that means she's not going to be with us. But, um, <laughs> but going back to it, uh, just seeing seeing them wearing the red, white, and blue. We got a chance to play Team USA in Palm Springs um, during that Olympic year before everything got shut down. And that was such a proud moment. Seeing them over there on the other side, wearing wearing the red, white, and blue. We have some great pictures and memories of just putting them all together, but just a lot of pride. I'm so proud that they represented UCLA so well. And then they had the opportunity to represent the red, white, and blue. And watching them play on the Olympic stage was, as a coach, It's those are those moments that makes all of the grind and work and good times, bad times, it makes it all worth it that they that they get the opportunity to be able to represent something that's so special. Um, so I'm very proud, very proud of all of them.